subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure thing. Enums and flags can be really useful in Python, especially when you want to represent a set of named values with a more readable and expressive syntax. Let's dive into creating a Python enum flag with a practical example. In Python, enums are created using the enum class from the enum module. Start by importing it. Create an enum class by inheriting from enum. You can use the auto function to automatically assign values to enum members. In this example, color flag is our enum class, and it has four members, red, green, blue, and yellow. Now, let's create a function that takes a color flag as an argument and prints a message based on the selected color. Now, you can use the enum flag in your code by passing one of its members to the display underscore color underscore message function. This will output. You can combine multiple flags using the bitwise or operator. For example, if you want to represent a combination of red and green, you can do the following. This will output. Since we haven't explicitly defined how to handle combined flags in our function, it recognizes it as an invalid color flag. To handle combined flags, you can modify the display underscore color underscore message function. Now, if you run the previous example with a combined flag, it will output. That's it. You've created a Python enum flag and learned how to use it in your code. Enums and flags provide a more readable and maintainable way to work with sets of named values. Chat GPT